Crystal again. Today we're going to be making this cute little clutch. It's really pretty easy once you get the hang of the loopy stitch. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm using a size H or a 5 millimeter crochet hook. And the first thing you want to do is chain 76. And I already did that. So once you get your chain of 76, you want to do a single crochet and a second chain from the hook. So you don't count the one on the hook. So not that one, but this one. Single crochet. And then you want to do a single crochet in every stitch across the chain. And it'll be a total of 75 single crochets. So go ahead and make your chain of 76 and then single crochet on the second chain from the hook and then single crochet all the way across and I'll meet you back up here. Okay I'm coming up with my last single crochets for this round. Okay. What you want to do now is chain one and turn. Okay, what we're going to do is called a double loop stitch. I'm going to do it a few times and try to show you. It's a little bit tricky to get the hang of, but once you do, it's you move along pretty fast. Okay, you want to wrap it around your finger three times to where the string is over the top not coming from under but it's going on the top and then you want to insert like you're going to do through the chain like you're going to do a single crochet over the top of this one and through all three loops bring it back for as long as you want your loops to be Pull them all through there, and you'll have four loops on your hook. Drop them all, and then go through all four loops. Okay, then you'll have two loops because it's a double. Okay, let's try it again. I'm going to wrap three times. And you want to go through your stitch over the top of this one and then back behind it and underneath these and then I just move my finger out just try to get it around the same length as your last ones pull them all through your stitch drop them yarn over and pour through all four loops to lock And you got two more. And it's okay if they're not exactly the same size. They're not going to be able to tell. It's not no big deal. Okay, let's do it again. Let me try to get a little closer. I hope you can see it okay. What I'm doing here. Okay, I'm going to wrap. I'm going to go through my next stitch. I'm going to go over that one and then under all of them and I just go like this so I get about the size I want with the other ones pull through drop them get my string and pull through all four loops to lock okay do it again wrap in your next stitch behind and then pull them to your length go through your stitch drop through all your loops 
Okay. Wrap. Throw your stitch. Behind. Behind it all. Pull them out. Pull them through. And then lock them. Okay, and then you got your loops on the back. And you're going to want to keep doing that. The remainder of your chain all the way down. If you have trouble, just keep rewinding me until you get it. And it is a little tricky, like I said at first, but once you get it, you'll go through this really fast. I'll go ahead and do it a couple more times to show you, because it is a little bit tricky. Wrap. Through your next chain. Over, under, all of them. Pull them. Pull them through. And then through four loops on your hook. That's it. It's real easy once you get the hang of it. So go ahead and finish that. This row. And I'll meet back up with you. And I'll tell you what you got to do after that. See you in a minute. Okay, I went ahead and finished my last double loop stitch. And this is what it looks like. Like I said, don't worry about all your loops being equal. Mine sure aren't. But when you get the next row on top of it, you won't even be able to tell it. So, what we're going to do next is... We're going to chain one. Oops, I already had a chain one. We're going to chain one and then turn your work. And we're going to do a row of single crochet decreases. So we're going to do on every tenth single crochet we're going to make it a decrease. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here's the tenth one, so we're going to do a decrease. We're going to go in and pull through, but we're not going to wrap over. We're going to go to the next one and pull through. We're going to have three loops on our hook, and we're going to pull through all three. And what that does, it takes these two stitches, the 10th and the 11th stitch, and it makes it into one stitch, which would be the 10th one from the start. So we're going to do it again. We're going to go with regular single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine. Now we're going to take the tenth one and decrease it. So we're going to go in, grab it. Pull it out and you got two chains on your hook and you're going to go over here to the next stitch and go in, grab it. So you got three chains on your hook, you're just going to wrap and pull through all three. And again, that made these two into one. So we're going to do it, continue it again. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Okay, here's the tenth one again. Get through there. Two loops on. I'm going to go to the next one. Grab it. Three loops on. And we're going to pull through all three. And two and the one again. Okay, we're going to continue that down. Nine single crochets. And then do the single crochet decrease all the way down to the end. And when you get to the end, you'll probably have a few single crochets left that won't equal up to the nine. So just, just finish them out with all single crochets. And I'll see you back there in just a minute. Okay, I made it to the end. Um, I had actually eight in between. And since it was so close to the ninth one, I just finished off with a decrease right here. And it, you know, if you didn't come up with that, it's trust me, it's no big deal. It didn't have to be exact. That was just an estimate. I just made it up as I went. I thought, you know, that was close enough. So that's going to be good enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain one, turn our work again, and we're going to do another row of the double loop stitch. So we're going to wrap again through. We're going to go from top and then behind, pull it out to what length you want, pull it through, and then through all four to lock. And we're going to wrap three times, three wraps. Go through your stitch, over the top of this, and back underneath all three loops. Pull it out to the length you want, through your stitch, and lock it. It's going to make it nice and pretty. So you're going to want to ahead and continue. Go ahead and continue that double loop stitch all the way to the end again. And I'll meet back up with you when you're done. Okay, I made it to the end of the second row of loops and this is what we got so far looking pretty okay okay what we're going to do here is we're going to chain one and turn and then we are only going to do one single crochet and every stitch across starting in this first one so go ahead and finish that One single all the way to the end and then I think we're going to do something different at the end I'll meet you up there in a minute okay I made it here to the end to the last stitch now I'm going to go ahead and pull through and I'm going to tie off but I'm going to leave a long strand here because I'm going to sew the end together so clip it it tight and then I'm going to use my darning needle okay. see what we have here is fold these ends together and it's the bottom part of the clutch so I'm going to flip them backwards to sew them backwards like this so you can't see my seam. But pretty much just take it and sew it together. If you, want to, if you haven't tied off your first tail, you can sew it in there. 
it's easier that way. Oh, here it is. Don't get real deep in it. Try to do on the tops of it if you can. I'll just sew that in. tight. I usually just make these bags up as I do the tutorial. The bag you see in the beginning is the one that I'm working on right now. So I never have a pattern for anything. I kind of just wing it. Okay. Let's see what that looks like real quick. Yep, I think that's going to look okay. Okay, it's kind of... Well, let me go one more time. Down here. Just to make sure. Okay, so it in the rest of the way. I'm going to go ahead and sew in this other tail from the beginning. I just am not good at hiding my tails throughout my work. I always have them at the end. Usually my husband sews them in for me. Okay, and there it is. It's the bottom part of the clutch. Okay, what we're going to do next, we're going to load the yarn back up again. We're going to start back here on our seam. Kind of look here for a stitch to start in. Not going to be that prominent, but you'll find one. Okay. Just start it like you normally would. Then chain one to lock. Okay, now we're going to do rounds of half doubles. So, if you want to get a stitch marker, it's easier for you to keep your spot with a stitch marker when you work in rounds. You can use that if you can keep track without it. That's fine. I always lose track and I always just use the piece of yarn. Just stick in here on my first stitch. Okay. And then we're going to do a half double. There's a yarn over. Go into the next stitch. Grab and pull through. Three loops on your hook. You want to pull through all three. And that's a half double. Okay, now we yarn over. Up into the next stitch. Pull through. Three loops on your hook. And go through all three. Yarn over. Go through this next stitch. Grab the yarn. Pull it through. B loops on your hook, and you want to go through all three. Okay, again, yarn over, go into the stitch, 
grab your yarn, pull it back through, three loops on your hook, go through all three. And those are your half doubles. And you want to continue that stitch all the way around until you get back to the beginning. And I'll meet you back up there at your stitch marker. Okay, I'm back around in the stitch marker. I had two lights shine on it and I thought it was a little yellow bright looking so I turned with a mop. I think it looks better now. Um, what we're going to do here is we're at our chain marker. We're going to slip stitch into this chain and then just pull it through the next one. Don't yarn over anything. And then we're going to chain two, and that's going to count as a half double. And then I'm going to put my stitch marker back there so I know where I'm at. And I'm going to continue doing half doubles. all the way around. So continue that till you get back to your stitch marker and I'll meet you again. Okay, I made it back around again and I went ahead and slip stitched into the chain two space, the top of the chain two space. And I know I said I was going to work in rounds, but I think what we're going to do is chain two again. And half double. Again. And every stitch. All the way around. And then when you make it back around, slip stitch into the top of your chain two, chain two again, half double all the way around, slip stitch in the top of your chain two, chain two again, all the way around, and repeat. Um, I'm not sure yet, probably this high or so, but um, let me finish going around and I'll let you know in just a second how many rows I did. Okay, I finished. I went ahead and added six more rows on top of the twos for a total of eight rows of half double crochet. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to sew up the bottom because it's still open. So it's really easy. Just move all these loops out of the way. Grab your needle. Okay, I just start at one end, stick through one, through the other, grab my string, pull it through, do a chain, okay. now you can sew it up with a slip stitch, you can sew it up with single crochet or you can even use a darning needle if you want. I'm going to use single crochet. So I'm just going to single crochet all the way down, stitch on this side and go to the opposite side, grab the opposite stitch single crochet, the next stitch, go to the other side and find the opposite stitch, single crochet, next stitch, other side, find the opposite st stitch, single crochet. Okay, you want to do that all the way down to the remainder of your purse and tie off and then your purse will be sewn shut at the bottom. 
Okay, I got it all sewed up. So now you can actually put stuff in it. Yay! <laughs> okay. Now we're going to start on the handles. So I'm going to start over here on the corner somewhere. Go your yarn through. Chain one. And then single crochet back in that same spot. And then you're wanna, gonna wanna do a single crochet in every stitch across, hiding your tail as you go. Okay, go ahead and finish that all the way back to your beginning, and I'll meet you back up there. Okay, I'm coming back around. I just want to slip stitch into that first single crochet. Pull it up. Don't clip it because we're going to need it still. Okay, I'm going to make a spot for the handle. So we're going to need two stitch markers for this side, and then two for this side. Um, I always just use pieces of yarn. So, that's what we're going to do. From this corner out, we're going to need 10 stitches marked and 10 on this side for a total of 20 stitches. So I'm just going to go ahead and count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stitch mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stitch mark. Okay, we're going to do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we're going to go back to where we left off. Okay, we're going to chain one and single crochet back in that stitch. And then we're going to single keep single crocheting up to your first stitch marker. And single crochet in that spot and you can remove your marker because you don't need it anymore out of that spot okay we're going to go ahead and chain 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now we're going to want to stretch this chain over to the next stitch marker and single crochet into that spot. Move that stitch marker. And this is going to start to form your little clutch handles. Now single crochet all the way back around to your next stitch marker. <laughs> My dog again. Seems like every video I do, he is scratching on the door. He just can't be without his mom. Ok, 
Okay, and then you want to go to your stitch marker and single crochet in the stitch with the marker. Remove that marker and do your chain of 15 again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, oops, fourteen, fifteen, and then single crochet into this last spot with your stitch marker. Okay, and you can move that. And you got your other handle warming. Okay, single crochet back to your the middle here, back to the beginning. And then you want to slip, slip stitch into the first single crochet. Okay, and then you want to chain one, single crochet back into that same spot. Okay, and then you want to single crochet all the way around including your chain and back around single crochet through this back chain all the way back around again so we'll keep going with single crochets when you get to your chain, single crochet in each chain space. Just like this. And then back down here and continue your single crochet. And every time you go around, it's going to make this handle thicker. So we just want to keep going. And when you get back to your beginning spot, slip stitch into the first single crochet, chain one, and single crochet back in that spot and go around again, all the way back around. Back here, slip stitch again, chain one single crochet back in that spot all the way again and I think I'll probably do it about five rounds you can do more you can do less but I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'll meet you back up and tell you exactly how many I did okay I know I told you to do probably around five rows but actually I stopped at three but you can do as many as you want and then I just slip stitch in that beginning single crochet and I fastened off and this is it. This is the little clutch. Um, actually, if you want to embellish, like I'm going to do. Um, I got this little... You're probably not going to be able to find this anywhere. Um, I live in, a, in Illinois in a really small town of about 500. So if I want to go to a good craft store to buy stuff like this, I have to drive. So what I do is I go to auctions and resale shops and stuff like that around here. And I buy old costume jewelry. 
this stuff makes awesome like if you have earrings you just fold the back over to a loop and it makes a nice button um, full necklaces make nice purse chains um, belt buckles they have nice hard rings and buckles on them nice hardware so I just gotta try to be creative with what I got this is this old snap-on earring but I'm just gonna stick it in here it's gonna be my latch stick it in the other side and that's it that's what it looks like I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you make this bag please post a picture I love to see it don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't ever miss any tutorials I'm gonna try to be posting couple tutorials a week on on different bags and like I said don't forget to like and subscribe thank you have a good day